Hey guys, Braxis here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. So I have a suggestion from AAV, who's asked this probably three or four times, but he says, Collide a neutron star with a black hole, a white dwarf with a neutron star, a white dwarf with Earth. All objects except Earth have a solar mass, or a solar mass value of one, so equivalent to one sun. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, just open a new simulation here. And we'll start with the Earth one. Right now. We'll collide the neutron star with a black hole, because I kind of explained this in my previous video. That, uh, let's just pause the game here. Any object touches a black hole in this game, it just despawns, pretty much. There's the smallest pulsar we have, and let's just launch it straight at the black hole. Let's back up a little bit. And there we go, it should be in course with the black hole. First, we want to decrease the mass to a value of 1.00 suns. So there we go, we have a pulsar that's equivalent to one sun, and a black hole that's equivalent to one sun, so let's see what happens. Let's uh, slow down time a little bit. And that's about it. The uh, pulsar despawned, and the black hole is now equivalent to two suns. So let's try the next suggestion, which is White Dwarf versus a Neutron Star. So let's just drop a Neutron Star right here. Let's place it as a still object. Let's slow down time. Pause time. Okay. Now we want a White Dwarf which my default one I go with is Sirius B, which will sit right here, and we'll change its mass to one sun. So there we go. And let's just hit play. And it looks like we resulted with a supernova, probably type 1A. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so the next suggestion was throw a pulsar at Earth. I think this might have a little bit more destructive consequences. At least for our little home planet. So let's slow down time again. I'm not going to bother throwing it. I'm actually just going to make it fall into the pulsar. So I'm just going to place it as a still object next to Earth. Which I might have actually thrown that. Not really too sure. So let's just drop a pulsar next to Earth. Which as you can see, it's really, really small compared to Earth. It's because it's about the size of a mountain. So let's just drop it right there. And change its mass to one sun. Now we want to slow down time a lot for this one. Okay, let's just slowly speed it up. And there they are, Earth is falling into the pulsar. As you can see, it's starting to tear Earth apart. As it exceeds its Roche limit, and... Look at that, it actually turned into a star called Earth. Well, that's interesting. But, uh, is anything else gonna happen? Nope, it looks like it just changed into a yellow dwarf, kinda like our sun. Let's, uh, pause the game here. And let's just place the sun next to it for comparison. The sun's a little bit bigger. But there you go. That is what happens if you, uh... A pulsar into Earth. I would have figured it would have actually shredded it. I know if you throw it and miss, Earth will be shredded. Or if Earth orbits a pulsar, it'll be shredded. But that's kind of an interesting result. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one.